on this important order. But with that, let's move on to another important story. The 14th Assembly elections in Himachal Pradesh on the 12th of November will be the first COVID restrictions-free elections in the country. So the Mountain State will set the stage for other state elections as well, which will follow in 2023. So which are the main parties competing? What are they promising? Santhya Gora brings us this round report. The beautiful mountain state is famous for its snow, apple orchards, mesmerizing mountain ranges and beautiful landscapes. These days, another color is added to the state. Himachal Pradesh is going to polls on 12th November. And the state is vibrant with the massive campaigning by key political parties. No party has seen back-to-back -back victory for two consecutive terms since 1985. But the ruling party BJP is betting on Modi factor and double-engine Sarkar formula. Himachal ke log Modi ji ko apna adarsh mante hain, unke saath bahut apna ap jo hai bhavanatmak dhristi se jodte hain aur pradhan mantri ji bhi jodte hain, to nishchit roop se iska lab humko hoga. Aur rajnitik dhristi se bhi kahu main aur bhavanatmak dhristi se bhi main kahu ki Modi ji ke bina Himachal hamare liye kalpana se pare ka vishe. It's not going to be that easy for the BJP though. Despite the central and state party leadership pushing for double engine sarkar agenda. Anti-incumbency can be a spoiler for the BJP. The BJP is also facing issues like apple growing communities' anger, inflation, water crisis and unemployment. Demand of old pension scheme restoration is also a catch-22 situation for BJP. I hope OPS will come back to the OPS. I am saying that if OPS comes, or OPS comes, there will be a solution, there will be a way to come. And it will come when the government will help in this way. And the government will help in this way. और केंद्र में भाजपा की सरकार है। कांग्रेस ऑन द अदर हैंड हैज पिन्ड इट्स होप ऑन पीपल्स अवर्जन टू रिपीट एनी पार्टी फॉर टू कंसेक्यूटिव टर्म्स। कांग्रेस इज आल्सो बेटिंग ऑन अ सिंपति वे फॉर प्रतिभा सिंह, हु इज द वाइफ ऑफ फॉर्मर स्टेट सीएम लेट वीरबद्र सिंह। कांग्रेस आल्सो क्लेम्स दैट we are very sure that Congress party will form a government with the absolute majority of 45 plus legislators and once that is settled, then the legislators will take a call and the high command will take a call that who has to lead the state in the times to come. Aam Aadmi party is claiming to be the X factor in these elections. Party's morale is high post its Punjab victory. Aam Aadmi party claims that there is a surprise in the store. Experts have a different take though. Or as a political organization, they have failed to set up an organization which could cover the interior or the farthest uh, district of Himachal Pradesh like Chamba and the uh, farthest place of Shimla district like Dodrakwa, Chopal, etc., etc. And the choice of the candidate, they have got a very weak choice of the candidates. Fate of these parties will be decided on 12th November when over 55 lakh voters will cast their votes in 68 constituencies of the state. BJP believes that Modi factor and nationalism will get it some brownie points. Congress claims that people will vote keeping local issues in mind and BJP's non-performance will enhance Congress's chances. Aam Aadmi Party is claiming that it has made inroads in rural Himachal and then there are regional parties like Rashtriya Dev Bhumi Party. Himachal Pradesh Assembly election 2022 are not only going to be interesting but also important as these elections are going to kickstart the most festive season of our democracy. Election season in Himachal Pradesh with camera person Balbir Singh. This is Santhya for CNBC TV. All right, that is some context for you ahead of the Himachal Pradesh Assembly poll.